Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm a great teacher. <laughs> That's nice. That's good to know. <laughs> well, good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alma. Welcome to the class. Wow. Thank you. Look, how your day? Sorry. How 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 was? How was your day? How was? How was your day? Was your day? <laughs> it was pretty good. Yes, it was a good day. Thanks for asking. And yours? Fine. Very fine. fine. Okay. <laughs> good. Evelyn. Good evening. And Good evening, teacher. <laughs> look, at, look at Anna. Anna is at the beach. My son, dejo ese, no sé cómo quitar. <laughs> <laughs> but that's nice, Anna. That's nice. Very cool that you are. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> This is class number 12. And let me show you the topic. Quantifiers and review of present continuous. So, this is class number 12. Can you tell me what day is today? What Tuesday day is uh, uh, Tuesday? It's Tuesday, that's January. right. January. Yeah. January? Seven. Are you sure it's oh, January? Wait, no. Oh, February, excuse me. February. February. <laughs> February. <laughs> January, February 7th. Yes, that's seven. right. Or 8th. No, 7th. Seven, 7th. Seven. Okay. <clears throat> so in this lesson, you will be able to uh, use quantifiers and the meanings of the quantifiers. <clears throat> we have reviewed previous class activity two what are they doing you're going to practice the present progressive or continuous activity three let's practice with quantifiers so let's start by taking the attendance first we need to take the attendance so please say present or say here and turn on your camera if it's possible uh, when i mention your name oh i just I just closed the page of the attendance list. <laughs> just give me one moment. I will open it again. It was just ready and I closed the page. Okay, Rocio. I hope that the majority of you is connected today. We're just missing only four more classes. Only Thursday, Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. We finish the next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And you are going to go to pre-intermediate, second. Okay, let's see, I have three messages. <laughs> they are saying present, no? I'm gonna take the tennis in this moment. <laughs> Okay, let's start with Alba Luz Mendez. Present. Thank you, Alba. Alexandra Patricia Arevalo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Alexandra. Alma Ivette Aguirre. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ana Beatriz Martinez. Present, teacher. Ah, uh, thank you. Ana Yamilet Hernández. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Present teacher. Thank you, Blanqui. Blanca Mireya Galdán. Present teacher. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Present. Thank you, Caleb. Carlos Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Eh, Carlos Rivera Orellana. Carlos R Ernesto Rivera, I see you there. 
Ok, present. Celia Verónica Pleite. Um, Claudia Beatriz Madrid. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Cristina Chavarría de Bonilla. Present, teacher. Cristina. Delmi Ramos. Present, Miss. Thanks, Delmi. Edma Marina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Edma. Eh, Erwin Hércules. Present, teacher. Absent. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Ok, Efraín Emilio. Evelyn Marroquín. Present teacher. Evelyn, Fátima Elisa Marroquín. Present teacher. Thanks, Fátima. Eh, Fátima Noemí Rivera Rivas. Present teacher. <coughs> oh. Okay. Mm, let's see. Hilda Beatriz Pineda. Ever Eliseo Bojorquez. I'm here, teacher. Yeah, I can see you there. Hector Velado. Hector? No, 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 uh, let's continue with Irven Guillermo. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Jacqueline Guevara Centeno. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Ernesto Palacios. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jaime. Stephanie Mejia. Stephanie Rinaldi and Jamilia Geraldina. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, Fatima Noemi. Okay, Cristina. <laughs> Cristina has problems with the camera. Okay, Ana Yamilet. Good. Thank you. Thank you for communicating. <clears throat> yeah, I have problems with my throat too. <laughs> Very good. So let's start. As I told you, we're gonna have a review of the previous class. What was the topic of yesterday's class? Can you remember the topic? And you had a homework. Did you do the homework? Hello. Yes, sir. Yesterday, asking about my family. Oh, yes. We talked about the family yesterday. And we learned a new content, which was the, the apostrophe for postpation. Uh -huh. And I assigned homework. Did you do the homework? I didn't, teacher. Uh -huh. Aha. I mean, why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, okay, let's, uh, somebody who did the homework? I am, yes. Okay, um, Blanca, yes. would you like to share? La, Leo. Please. Okay. The children is John, John's children. Yes? Yeah, that's correct. John's children. The cousin of Sam, Sam's cousin, cousin. The, the book, the books of the years, years books. The car of my father, father's car. The house, the house of my parents. Parents home. The cal cell phone. The cell phone of my uh, the cell phone of my friend. Friend's cell phone. 
the tie of the dog dog tail the flowers tail the flowers of the garden gardens flowers yes thank you blanca and applause for blanca please okay. <laughs> applauses good job blanca Thank you. Teacher. And you're very happy there. We can hear how you sing. <laughs> so you're very happy having the class. Okay. So the um that was a review. The apostrophe for possession, right? Excellent job. Sam's cousins, the girls' books, the father's car, my parents' house, my friend's cell phone, the dog's tail, and the uh, garden flowers okay good job now um we are going to continue practicing that by um doing this exercise as you can see here we have famous people like michael douglas catherine serellons enrique iglesias julio iglesias who are they Vicente Fernandez. Vicente Alejandro, right? Fernandez. And do you know these girls? Sí, Olsen. Sister Olsen. Exactly. The, the Olsen twins, right? Uh, Ashley and Kate. <laughs> okay. So we're going to, um, we are going to uh, use the them, right, as examples for possessions. For example, Michael Douglas or Michael is Catherine's husband, right? Michael is Catherine's husband. What can you tell me about Enrique Iglesias and Julio Iglesias? Mm -hmm. What is the relation between Enrique and Julio? Father and Father son. 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 Father and son. Okay, who is the father in who? Julio Iglesias is the father. Okay, Julio is Enrique's father. Father. Uh, yes, Julio is Enrique's father. 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 Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I had a problem. Okay. Julio is Enrique's father. Very nice. Or we can say Enrique is Julio's son. Julio's son. Okay. What about Vicente and Alejandro? Oh, the same. Vicente. Is Alejandro Alejandro father father Okay Vicente Fernandez is 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 Alejandro's father Exactly is Alejandro's father Oh, yeah. Right, that's right. So, Alejandro is Vicente's Vicente's son. 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 Okay. What about uh, Kate and Ashley? Ashley is Ashley is Katie's sister. Okay, yes. That's right. Excellent. Very good. Mm, do you know other examples of famous people who are family, who are related? For example, Brad Pitt and Angelina. Angelina is yeah. wife. Brad, Brad's Brad's ex-wife. Ex-wife, exactly. <laughs> Angelina is Brad's 
S Y. Very good. So I can see you can use the possessive perfectly. Congratulations. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. So these are more examples, right? Kate's sister, Brad his wife, Enrique's father, Alejandro's father, etc. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's go over the next slide. Oh, I have a message. That is Irving. Hey, Irving. Now, in the next activity, we have a picture. And the question is, what are they doing? We have a family. They are at home. We have Cindy, Evan, Baby Ben, Dad, Grandma Sue, and you sell the dog, the pet. So you are going to describe what these people are doing. I will write an example so you can write the other part. <clears throat> For example, Cindy is, you have to use the present progressive. Uh, Cindy is doing oh. math homework because she has a calculator. Right? That's my idea, right? <laughs> Cindy is doing math homework. Now, can you please describe what the other people are doing? Evan is reading a newspaper. Evan is know. reading, okay. Um, yeah, it could be a newspaper. Evan is reading a newspaper. Okay, what about Baby Ben? Um, baby Ben baby is ben playing. Is play. playing. Baby Ben baby is, playing. is playing. playing with the ball. Playing with the ball. Okay. The ball. Uh, what about that? Grandma Sue. Oh, Grandma, okay. Sue is drinking a tea. <laughs> is drinking tea. Grandma Sue is drinking tea. Mm -hmm. Dad is preparing tea. Okay. Is <laughs> preparing tea. And you, Sal? Is relaxing. Is relaxing or resting in the carpet. Uh -huh. Yeah. On the carpet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very funny. You shall it's a funny dog. Yes. So as as you can see, right, we have to use the verb to be, the verb be, and the verb in the ing form, right? Mm -hmm. Cindy's doing my homework, even is. Reading the newspaper, baby Ben is playing with the ball. Grandma Sue is drinking tea. Dad is preparing tea, and Yusan is relaxing on the carpet. Okay, do you have any questions about the use of the ing form? Present continuous. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Okay, so that's clear. Excellent. So now let's go over the next activity, which is the quantifiers. What are quantifiers? Uh, they are words that refer to quantities. They tell you a quantity. Uh, it's usually used with nouns. And they can be used with countable or uncountable nouns to express amount or quantity, okay? So you can use quantifiers. There are some quantifiers used with countable nouns, the ones that we can count with our fingers, one, two, three, four, five. For example, books, we can count the books, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 books. 
or we can count the students, right? How many students we have today? 27, 27 students, 27 participants. We can count the hours, right? We can count the hours, eight hours, seven hours, two hours. We can count the potatoes and tomatoes, right? 10 tomatoes for $1, eight tomatoes, six tomatoes for $1. We can count the bananas. We can count the people, right? One, two, three, four, five people, et cetera. But there are some uncountable nouns and those are the nouns that we cannot count. You cannot give a number. Uh, for example, the water, we don't say three waters, right? It's just water. All the liquid, all the liquids and drinks are uncountable. Also, we have the flowers, the farinas, flowers, or salt, oil, also time. Time in general, right? We cannot count. You cannot count the feelings like low. Mm -hmm. So you know, right? You know the difference between countable and uncountable now. So here you will read some examples of quantifiers. The quantifiers are in bold, all the words in bold. I would like a volunteer to read the, the sentences examples for countable and another volunteer to read the uncountable. Me teacher. Okay, Blanca, you can start with a countable sentence. Countable. Quantifiers with countable nouns. I want all the apple. Can I have every ball? Who has the most pen? I don't have many pens. I have some pens. I have a few coins. I don't have any cards. We we had no else. Thank you, Blanca. Yes, so we have the quantifiers all, every, most, many, some, a few, any, and no. And as you notice, they are with plural nouns, the majority of them. Only every is with singular. Can I have every ball? Okay, I want all the apples. Who has the most? Pens. I don't have many pens. I have some pens. I have a few coins. I don't have any cards. We have no A. Now with uncountable nouns, let's see the quantifiers that we can use. Uh, somebody else to read the sentences. Hey coach. Okay, Edwin, go ahead. Countable. Qualifies with uncountable nouns. I don't have much rice. He has much money. How much does this cost? There is much work to do. I have a little rice. Do you have a little salt? I want a little flour. I wish I had a little brother. Okay, thank you, Amy. So as you notice, with uncountable, we use much and little. We use much and little. We can also use some. Ya vamos a ver un ejemplo con some. But we use much and little. And with countable, we use many and a few. Con los que podemos contar, usamos many para muchos, a few para pocos. Y con uncountables, con los que no se pueden contar usamos much, que significa mucho. No muchos, sino mucho. Y usamos little, que significa poco, un poco. I don't have much rice. No tengo mucho arroz. He has much money. Él tiene mucho dinero. Hmm. How much does this cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta este? There is much work to do. Hay mucho trabajo que hacer. I have a little rice. Tengo un poco de arroz. Do you have a little salt? Tienes un poco de sal? I want a little flour. 
yo quiero un poco de harina. I wish I had a little brother. Desearía tener un hermano, un pequeño hermano. <laughs> okay, so those are the examples. These are the examples. Si se fijan en qué orden usamos el quantifier, en, en qué lugar de la oración está, antes de qué. Del, del complemento pronombre del sujeto del de la de la del no, del subject no 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 the noun ah, before yes before the noun, noun. está <laughs> antes del noun all the every bold most pens many pens some pens a few coins any cards no e Much rice, much money, much work, a little rice, a little salt, a little flour, a little brother. Entonces está antes de un sustantivo, de un noun, ¿verdad? Porque para eso es lo que hablábamos anteriormente. The quantifiers are used to express a quantity. Entonces nos expresa una cantidad de algo, ¿verdad? Entonces va antes de ese algo. Ok. And you will see in this table more quantifiers, the meaning and if they are, can be used with countable nouns or with uncountable nouns. Here's a, vamos a ver. Little significa small minor. It means a small minor. And it's only used with uncountable. Few means a small or a slight. And it's only with count. A lot of can be used with both. Los podemos usar con los dos. A large number or amount. A lot of people. A lot of sugar. A lot of water. A lot of soda. A lot of bananas. Un montón de. Many, it means very or numerous. And it's only with count. Much means very, too, or a lot, uncountable. Any is used to say never at all. Es usado en negativo. Because it means never or at all. Nunca, nada, o para nada. Se puede usar para ambos. Countable nouns or uncountable nouns. Y también en preguntas. We use any in questions. Do you have any question? I'm using any. <laughs> Do you have any question? Okay, lots of significa lo mismo que a lot of. And you can use with both. Some también se utiliza para ambos. Y es para una cantidad no especificada. Solo quiere decir algo, ¿verdad? Una cantidad, pero no específica. Significa algo. Some. Some. I have some interesting students. Or I have some special students. I was kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Some. Good. So this is a very useful table. You can take a screenshot and keep it. Now, let's see what you have in the platform. Okay, in this case, we have only, in este ejemplo, solo vamos a ver quantifiers the countable now. Tenemos all, estos son otros, otros quantifiers. Oops. All, which means the 100%. Nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, some not no. many, a few, few, and no one. ¿Qué significa todo? 100%. 90%, nearly all, casi todos. Most, la mayoría. Many, muchos, pero no todos. A lot of, también muchos. Some, algunas. Not many, 
no muchas, unas pocas. Eh, podemos escuchar algo. Hilda, Hilda, can you please? Eh, Hilda. Sorry, teacher. Uh, it's because there is an interruption. Okay. Yes, yes, sorry, sorry. Okay, no problem. Not many, no muchos, a few, unos pocos, few, pocos. No one, nadie. No one, nadie. Entonces aquí tenemos un ejemplo. All families have only one child. Quiere decir todas las familias tienen solo un niño. Or nearly all families have only one child. Casi todas las familias solo tienen un hijo. Most families have only one child. La mayoría de las familias tienen solo un hijo. Many families are the smaller these days. Muchas familias son más pequeñas es últimamente. O ahora. A lot of families are the smaller these days. Un montón de familias son más pequeñas hoy. Some families are the smaller these days. Algunas familias son más pequeñas hoy. Not many couples have more than one child. No muchas parejas tienen más de un hijo. A few couples have more than one child. Unas pocas parejas tienen más de un hijo. Few couples have more than one child. Pocas, sorry, pocas parejas tienen más de un hijo. No one gets married before the age of 18. Nadie se casa antes de los 18. Si ¿Sí comprendemos entonces cómo usamos estos quantifiers, ¿qué significan? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Si se fijan en la mayoría de ellos, están en plural, ¿verdad? All families have. A lot of families are. Not many couples have. Excepto no one, porque no one es solamente... Es singular. Nadie. Entonces, como es singular, interperson, we need to add the S, right? To the verb. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay. And now it's time to practice. Are you ready to practice? Yes, teacher. Yes, I hope so. You can try. Okay, entonces. Okay, in the next slide, you will see the sentences. You will see some sentences. What are you going to do? You are going to rewrite the sentences using quantifiers and then compare with a partner. Entonces, so... We, I'm going to write the first example for you. Okay, the sentence says, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Entonces, aquí está usando un porcentaje, pero en vez de usar ese porcentaje, vamos a utilizar un quantifier. Okay, the percentage is 50. 50%. Entonces, ¿qué quantifier can we use? Which quantifier would you use? I don't, I'm not sure, but I maybe, maybe a lot of. Okay, it's a lot percent, of. it's in the middle, right? So you can use many or you can use? Some. Some. A lot of. Uh -huh. Many, a lot of. Yes, in China, Many women get married by the age of 22. So what are you going to do? Only uh, substitute the, or replace the percentage with a quantifier. Okay? Me quiero ver sus ejemplos en el chat. Bueno, no sus ejemplos, las respuestas del number two, number three, number four, and number five. You need to have, you 
need to have the previous image. Es necesario que tenga la imagen anterior. No sé si alguien le tomó captura. A la anterior. No, teacher. Vale, para que la tengamos. This one. There you go. Thank you. I think that's Edma. Bueno, no sé quién envió. <laughs> but thank you for sending it. Ahora sí, con esa ya, que lo tienen ahí. Pueden irse y van a completar. Van a hacer esas oraciones. Reemplazando el porcentaje por un quantifier. Miren, 100%, all, todos, todo mundo, everybody, all. 0%, no one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have one example, Cristina. In Australia, nearly all of Marruecos couples have children. Ah, <laughs> nearly all of married couples have children. <laughs> Thank you, Cristina. <laughs> it's correct. 80%, 87% is like nearly all. In the United States, not one. The people bought before. Uh, in this case, in this case, no one is here zero percent of the people. So no one. No, no one. No one. No ya one. Se, ya me incluido ahí. La gente. No one. Uh, no, no es necesario of the people, solo no one. No okay. one. Y luego este verbo, boat, ¿qué va a llevar? Um, ninguna. S. Va a llevar una S. In the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. No one votes. Yes, very good. Excellent, Caleb. Excellent, Anna. Okay, Alma. Good. What about number four? A few, maybe. Maybe. A few, a few people. A few, a few percent. A few people. No vamos a poner el percent. Ah. Ah, okay. A few people in Germany live alone. I write in my in my in my notebook, teacher. It's okay, Hilda. It's okay. Yo le puse some en la cuatro. Some people in Germany live alone. It's okay because uh, thirty-five percent. Yeah. Like some people. Mm -hmm. 70. And 70, maybe many. 78%, maybe many, teacher. Or some. Or, or most. 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 Uh, most. Most of American high school students have jobs. Most. Because 78% is a lot. Most. Or you can use a lot. A lot of American high school students have jobs. Entonces, en este caso, Ana. Ajá, acuérdense que vamos a eliminar todo lo que diga 35% of the people. 
No, esto. 35% of the people in Germany. Vamos a escribir. Some people in Germany live alone. Very nice. I can see. You can use the quantifier. ¿Cómo es la cuatro entonces, Tisha? ¿Cómo sería la cuatro entonces? Si usa a few, a uh -huh. few people in Germany live alone. Uno tengo que poner otro tipo. No, off, no. Elimino oh. la palabra people. Ajá, mi, ay, no. Mira el ejemplo de Cristina que está en el chat. Some people in Germany live alone. Ah, okay. Oops, sorry. Fake. I think there is a there is an exercise, so there is one part in the final exam or in the platform in which you have to use quantifiers, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. So you can now work in that part. You put the sentence in. Now, can you write other examples of your own? Your own examples using quantifiers, a lot of, many, a few, some. Vamos a ver en, um, but, igual, and in number five. Va a eliminar 78% of Vamos a eliminar el porcentaje y vamos a utilizar un quantifier. Okay. Carlos puso many American high school students have jobs. Alma puso most American high school students have jobs. Mm -hmm. Ahora, what about your own examples? My example, you can say old uh, motorcycle riders in El Salvador are not, all motorcycle riders in El Salvador wear um, a vest, a reflective vest now, nowadays. <laughs> Have you seen that? All motorcycle riders in El Salvador wear a reflective vest nowadays, orange or green. Have you seen that? ¿Han visto eso? Yes, I All motorcycle there. riders. In El Salvador, wear a reflective vest nowadays. Okay. I like this example, Hilda. 
In San Salvador, all people eat pupusas in the morning and at night. <laughs> okay, nearly, nearly all people eat pupusas for breakfast and for dinner. <laughs> okay, Morica. Okay. I would say, All teachers drink coffee. <laughs> All teachers drink coffee because we need it. We need it to wake up. Okay, many people drink more than two cups of coffee a day. Wow, that's a lot. I have another one. Nearly all Salvadorians eat tortillas every day, right? Nearly all Salvadorians eat tortillas every day. Do you eat tortillas every day? At least one meal? Yeah, yes. You. Yes. We all eat tortillas. More example. Can we use no one? In a summer, many people eat campero chicken. <laughs> okay, it's true. Okay, what about no one? In El Salvador, most people go to the U.S. to work. Go to the go to the work in the morning, maybe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes we have some type of mistake. <laughs> okay. All brush three times a day. I hope. No one gets up early on Sundays. <laughs> Maybe none of us, ninguno de nosotros, none of us. That is another one, none of us. <laughs> Okay, what about no one? No one takes a, their dog. No one takes his or her dog to a hotel, right? Could be an example. No one takes. Okay, or no one wants to travel to Russia in this moment. Or do you, do you want to travel to Russia? In Euro, some soccer player earns a lot of money. That's true. Some people is, Difficult events and <laughs> okay. Well, ahí sería Hilda. It's difficult 
for some people to make up. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Make up examples in English. We have another example. All people drink water every day. Okay. And that's good for you. I have another another example. A lot of people drink a lot of soda <laughs> in our country. A lot of people drink a lot of soda. No one forgets the pupusas in Asado. Yes, no one forgets the pupusas. <laughs> Some students don't write their examples. And I'm sad for that. Uh, many people find it difficult to play chess, it's true. I am one. <laughs> it's easy, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried, I have tried. <laughs> a lot of people like a dog, like dogs. All people like the beach. Well, most of the people, or most people. <laughs> In El Salvador, a lot of people eat Pupusas for dinner on Saturday. A lot of people like to dance, to dance or dancing. Like dancing. Very nice, excellent. Okay, so in this class, we learn the use of, the use of, what are they called? ¿Qué aprendimos? What did we learn in this class? Use the quantifiers. The use of quantifiers. Yes. Exactly. Is it easy or difficult? Easy. Easy, ah. maybe. <laughs> the quantifier is uh, use a uh, use a uh, is to express quantity uh, in one hundred percent to Zero percent. Yeah, but right. It, it depends. I suppose it depends. It depends on the context. No. It is. Yes. It depends mm -hmm. on the context. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad. But it's the that... other way. Okay. It's the other way, teacher, for express uh, for express the idea. Using the using the vocabulary in the United States is very common. Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we have other quantifiers. We have little, we have much, and lots of. Can you give me examples using much? using much. Remember much is for uncountable. I will write my example. Teachers don't earn much money. That's a very sad truth. <laughs> Teachers don't earn much money. And and we don't have 
much time. <laughs> we have a lot of things to do. We usually have a lot of things to do. Oh, that's nice, Anna. I love my children so much. That's a great example. You need to practice English a lot. Another example with any I, in negative, I don't have any children. Okay, so give me examples with much and any. I like my coffee with, or little, with little sugar. I like my coffee with little sugar. And you, how do you like your coffee with no sugar, with a lot of sugar or with little sugar? With a lot of sugar, teacher. Oh, no. <laughs> How can you drink it? <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I can't drink so much sweetness. <laughs> okay. Um, in my refrigerator. Ah, okay, Anna. In ese sería in my refrigerator. There isn't or there aren't any fruit. There aren't any fruit. Okay. Para decir hay, usamos there is and there are. There is singular, there are plural. There is and there are, there is and there are. They are. I have another example. He has much patience. Él tiene mucha paciencia. He has much patience. Okay. So you can continue practicing and writing your own examples with these quantifiers. Okay. Okay, Anna. In this country that are so, in that case, we will use many, many people. There are so many people. Because people, we can count the people. It's countable. One, two, three, four, five, six millions. My husband. <laughs> okay, Blanca. My husband doesn't have, doesn't have, does not have. Doesn't. No se le olvide la auxiliar. My husband does not have much patience. Okay. I like lots of money. Okay. Then. And the other example, he has a lot of free time. I don't, my, exactly. Blanca Mireia. That's correct. My husband doesn't have much patience. My husband has a lot of patience to me. <laughs> Sometimes I'm difficult, but he's very patient. He has much patience. Okay, thank you for sharing your ideas and your opinion. Thank you for connecting to the class. And well, class, tomorrow we don't have class. Remember, it's Wednesday. No class tomorrow until 
Thursday. So tomorrow you can go to the movies with your friends, with your family, because we go don't to the have... party, teacher. Sorry? <laughs> go to the party. Yes, you can go to the parties, you can go to movies because it's the day of uh, it's the offer, the promotion to people for one ticket. So <laughs> you can take advantage of that. Okay, it was nice to see you. See you on Thursday. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye bye. 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 bye.